By now, you have already figured out that this Kia Provo dass im Prinzip die Momentenverteilung an der Vorderachse immer auf das Rad, auf das Kurvenäußere Rad geht, weil es ist stärker benannt, 3 Liter weniger als beim Vorgänger, also 18% Verbrauchsreduzierung, ist auch für den Golf GTI wichtig. Wir reden jetzt von einem sportlichen Klumpen, aber jetzt gehen wir mal hier nach zur Linken, Golf GTI. No, I think uh, it's a, you cannot be a local company, you need to be an international company. And uh, you see all our engineers, they all come from Western uh, OEMs and, uh, uh, and we always have in mind to have uh, uh, Western quality. Um, and uh, if you have Western quality and Western standards, Western uh, uh, crash ratings, you also can go to Europe. The European market today is a little weak, uh, but that doesn't matter. I think the, with what we are offering, I think uh, uh, it will also attract the European uh, customers. We have, uh, uh, right now, we have a, an installed capacity in uh, Changshu of 150,000 a year uh, with some uh, uh, different uh, work uh, uh, schedules we can make up to 250,000 and we have a second stage in mind which kind of can lead us up to fi almost 500,000 cars.
You know, I think the big three, uh, on the one hand, we have to admire them for their success. On the other hand, uh, I want to exploit their success in the sense that the traditional concept of exclusivity has been not accessible to all. And uh, we don't want to take them head on. We want to be the seductive alternative with the emphasis on the alternative, with truly fascinating product, a really sensual, emotional product and brand positioning, and a very compelling product offer. And uh, I think that there is a significant enough audience uh, of discerning customers who want something other than what the mainstream premium market is going for, and Infinity will be there with a, with a compelling offer. For the future of all car manufacturers, the green technology will be key for uh, long-term success. Uh, our our deep budget, 50% of the whole budget in the meantime is focused on green technologies and especially uh, when it comes to zero emission driving, it's uh, really, really important. A highlight what we brought to Geneva is our SLS e-drive, uh, 1000 uh, newton meter torque. Uh, fascination, poor zero emission. And never before we saw such a super sports car with a thousand meters, a lot of uh, uh, suppliers and also OEMs talking about this technology. We are ready to market, we will sell this car beginning this year. And uh, what is specific, of course, uh, more than 250 kilometers of range, enough for uh, your, what, every, what all our customer need, uh, torque and performance, uh, uh, what never before you had seen in such a car. Perfect. Oh yeah, it's just completely empty, isn't it? We've engineered Model S on top of the architecture that we developed for Roadster, specifically in the battery and some of the powertrain. So essentially we have an evolution of the technology there. Roadster did approximately 245 miles on a charge. Model S, a bigger car, heavier car can do 300 miles or 500 kilometers on the NEDC cycle. So we've seen a steady improvement even with uh, a larger car. The Model S is the first car that was built from the ground up to be an electric vehicle and through that architecture we've enabled uh, our engineers and designers to put a battery pack completely flat underneath the car so that endows the car with an extremely low center of gravity and then of course handling that matches so you have uh, almost no body roll, you have a car that can change direction very very quickly it feels really uh, unlike anything else you've driven on the road. Ich will meine BMW Group voll ausdenken. 
unser Ziel ist es. BMW hat in der Vergangenheit schon oft neue Segmente Wie wir alle wissen, die Welt wird sich verändern. Alors, euh, hybridaire, euh effectivement est l'alliance de deux énergies, une énergie qui est issue d'un moteur thermique, essence dans notre cas, et une énergie qui est obtenue à travers la compression d'air. C'est extrêmement novateur parce que pour la première fois, on n'exploite pas l'hybridation avec un système électrique, mais avec un système qui est basé sur un accumulateur dans lequel on va venir fréquemment et rapidement comprimer de l'air et plus précisément de l'azote. This car has a bivalent uh, propulsion system, so we can run the engine on natural gas or we can run it on E10 fuel. With uh, both uh, alternatives combined, this car has a reach of more than 1,000 kilometers. We can make it up to 1,200 kilometers in distance with the fuel we have on board. We have a technology to produce so-called uh, CO2 emission-free natural gas. It's a synthetic process where we use electrical energy, especially in the night when the industrial uh, demand is not so high. And with this additional uh, available electrical power, we produce hydrogen and hydrogen together with CO2 makes methane, makes natural gas. Okay, so in two words, this is uh, really the zero emission car because you can uh, do electricity with a combination of hydrogen on one thing and so oxygen on the other on the other in the other hand, and finally you get water. So with this combination, you produce electricity, and we have the electric motors to move the car. So it's uh, an electric car with uh, the reserve of energy. This is with the hydrogen on one hand and in the other hand, the oxygen. This is a car also where the performance you can compare with a, um, a very good car. Let's say you can compare it with the performance with the Honda Accor or even with the Legend. And uh, the, uh, also the autonomy of the car. So you can run the car in more than 500 kilometers. So really the idea was to, to make a car that you can use every day.